Hey everybody here with a response for Cuban Collector's Christmas Contest. I'm cutting it pretty close to the deadline, which I usually do. Also used to do that back when I was in school. Always waited until the last minute to turn a project in. But should be a quick response here. He just wants a few things answered. First thing is to mention a channel that you've subscribed to over the past month or so that you want to give a shout out to. So the timing for this is perfect because I had just told this guy a few days ago that I wanted to give him a shout out. Bronx Bomber. You know, with a name like that, I'm going to like him. Fun, newer channel. Picks up a variety of things. Also collects Cuban players like Jonathan does, but again, he picks up so many different things, unique items. He had a very interesting Derek Jeter, Jorge Posada error card that he showed in one of his videos, which he wanted more info on it, but I personally had never seen it. So I'm going to leave a link to that video. Maybe one of you guys knows more about it and you can help him with it. And he was also getting close to 100 subscribers. Not sure if he has yet, but go check him out regardless. Next is to pick a YouTuber whose collection you like admire or someone who has cards that you would like in your collection. And the answer to both those questions is pretty easy. Jerome, aka Yankees cards, has such an amazing Yankee collection. Has newer stuff, has vintage, has autographs of just about every Yankee ever. Not just the great cards he has, but then he has that really nice display too. Would love to have something like that. So the answer to that is definitely Yankees cards. And for the next thing, he wants to know of a Christmas movie that you like to watch every year. And I was going to say Die Hard, but I know some people don't consider that a Christmas movie. And I know Jason Zombie Collector already picked that one, so I decided to go with this one, Elf. And I'm not even like a big Will Ferrell fan, but just really liked him in that movie. Felt like he played that role perfectly. And I usually don't watch movies like multiple times, but this is definitely one that I can watch over and over again. Might actually watch it one of these days now that I brought it out. Last thing is to show some cards of some Cuban players. So I chose to go with two of my favorite Cuban pitchers, starting with the man you see back there, Orlando Hernandez. So I chose a few cards to show, I'm not going to show every single card I have of them. But this one I actually pulled here on the channel when I bought this 1994 Cuba box. And this one's pretty cool here with the, you got Cuba on the map back there. That's his rookie card, 98 Bowman. I just chose this one because check out that leg kick there. Got it up really high on that one. Got some refractors here, definitely got to get these out of the sleeves. Really cool shine on that 99 Bowman Chrome. You got a 99 Tops Refractor. Playoff highlight. It was a really good playoff pitcher. Could always depend on him. And love this one here. This X Fractor from 2001 Bowman Chrome. Very sweet shine on that one. And I have one autograph of them. I think I showed this card when I first picked it up. This tier one autograph. And now for a few cards of his half brother, Levon Hernandez. Also pulled that one out of the Cuba box. He didn't have like an amazing career or anything, but just liked watching him pitch. Kind of a throwback type pitcher. He'd go out there, throw like 125 pitches and He'd still be ready to go next time around. You didn't have to skip him or anything. He's just a base tops, but I really like that one. The 97 Bowman Chrome. I've mentioned how much I like that set. Really nice EX. Another great 90s set. Here's one from later in his career with the Washington Nationals. And you can see he got really big there towards the end. I have one auto of him also. This one I don't think I ever showed on here, so glad I have this opportunity now because I absolutely love this card. Doesn't have the greatest signature, but super sweet card there. Dual patches numbered to five. So again, just love that card. And so there it is, Jonathan. Wanted to do this for you. Thought it was a cool idea. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back with more later.